turn around in the Premier League, and we've already got action coming up this weekend. Gab Marcotti is here with me. I don't think I've done a Premier League predictor with you, Gab, so you're my challenger this week. Let's start off with Chelsea, Newcastle. All right, uh, I think there's a little bit of a, of a talent gap here, and even though Antonio Conte got himself in trouble, for me at Stamford Bridge, it's another three points. I agree with you on that one. Brighton against Liverpool. Liverpool away in this one. We know how Brighton can get spirited at home, but will it be enough? And they have my man Glenn Murray, the, uh, the everyman. Um, again, I think Liverpool away from home, especially once you start with, with Mo Salah on fire, I got to go with Liverpool again. Oh, you chose I for promise. me. I won't but I'm going to choose for you oh. as well because I chose Liverpool too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was reading your mind. There you go. Everton. Ooh, a resurgent Everton. Who are they? Wayne Rooney scoring hat tricks now. They're up against Huddersfield. How do you see this one going? I see this going as a as a draw, frankly. Uh, really? Well, first of no all, no big Sam reaction. To no continue? big Sam bounce. The way that things have been going for Everton, I think drawing is already a big Sam bounce. Well, after they got all those goals the other day, I think I'm going to go with Everton on this one, Gav. I think I'm expecting a little more of a reaction with Big Sam there. Leicester City against Burnley. Ah, uh, you, know, you know, the other day on the show, I brought up Burnley, uh, and everybody laughed at me. And look, now they're they're ahead of exactly. Bournemouth now. Sorry, they're ahead of um, Spurs now uh, after their win at Bournemouth. So uh, I'm going to go again with the draw here. I think Claude Puel might even settle for a draw given the way the way things are going two teams tough to break down they might share the spoils i'm going to agree with you on this one i'm going to sit on the fence and go for a draw stoke city against swansea everything says stoke uh swansea i don't think they even managed a shot in target in uh, in midweek um however i'm going to say draw here because i think there's more to come from swansea and tammy abraham will be back Ladies and gentlemen, we have more of a fence sitter than Shaka Hislop. I'm going to go with Stoke getting the result in this one now. Well, let's move on. Watford against Spurs. Spurs need something to cheer about these days. Who'd have thought I'd be saying that the way they started? Who's going to win? It's a tricky one because I'm such a Marco Silva fan. Me too. And obviously it's Pochettino and whatnot. I think Spurs have played better than their results in, in, in this rather rather poor run. So, uh, but then again, it's Watford and Richarlison, so I'm going to go for the draw here. Oh my goodness, another draw. This might be a record. You know what? Sorry Spurs fans, I'm going to go for a Watford win in this one just for the upset. If we can even really call it an upset the way Spurs have been going recently. West Brom, they've got a new man there against Crystal Palace. A man that knows Crystal Palace quite well too. Who's going to get it? Yeah, I, sorry, I, I, I struggle with this, but I have an issue with pards, so every day of the week. Uncle every Roy. day of the week. Oh, yeah. all right, well, I'm going to go with pards on this one, <laughs> and we're going to go with West Brom. Arsenal, Manchester United. Now we're talking about the juicy fixture this weekend. Do the Gunners get it? Uh, I don't think so. Ooh, they've been high flying. I don't, I mean, all right, logic would say your man goes in, sets up the way he likes to set up, and holds them to a draw. I think United could actually could actually nick this. I mean, much as I like Arsenal and their their, their resurgence, I thought they played really well against Spurs. I think this is a different proposition. So I'm going to go on a limb here and predict United to win on the road. I'm going to go for a draw on this one, just because I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I mean, no Lacazette though, so I'm going to go for a draw. Bournemouth, Southampton. <sighs> Bournemouth, they got some issues now. They've got some real issues. Uh, Pellegrino's been, you know, people are saying, oh, look, he's just boring, like 12, whatever. But I think they're, 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 there's, more to, they're, there's more to Saints than that. Um, but then again, Bournemouth at home, they normally bounce back when they need to, or they have done. So I'm going to go with Bournemouth. Southampton played well against Manchester City, I guess we can say. They hung on to that very last minute, but it is City after all. I want to go for a draw on this one, but we have tons of draws, and... I don't really care, so I'm going to go for a draw. Manchester City, West Ham. Do I even need to bat an eyelash for this one? You seem very confident. You don't have much faith in, in Moisey. I, I, I wonder why. Sorry. Or West Ham. Moisey has a result in him, but it's not going to be here. I'm sorry. Definitely not going to be against Manchester City. Thanks so much to Gab Marcasi. We'll continue tracking all of these fixtures and the results from all the Premier League action this weekend here at ESPN FC.